Hello, and today I'm going to go over adding logos to Figma. You want to go ahead and start by finding the logos library under the Twist Lab Teams in Figma. You want to go ahead and open that. Okay, and now once you have that open, I'm going to go ahead and if you're changing the year to add a new logo, you want to click on, we're going to go ahead and switch these ones. Click on the group of the old year and make sure all of it's selected and then delete. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our logos for the new year. So I have a folder of the logos I want to add. I'm going to just go ahead and select these two and drag them over to Figma. Okay, and here they are right here. I am going to put them vertically. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and hit the F key and that's to create a frame or you can also go up here and click frame. Once I've done that, I'm going to create a frame over the two new logos that I've added. And with this frame, if you notice, the logo that is white does not show because the background of the frame is white. What you want to do is make sure that the frame's selected. Under fill to the right, on the right tab, we're going to go ahead and make it a gray. And now that will show. Okay, then once we've done that, I'm going to name the frame what the logos are. So Forbes Turkle 20 22. Once I've done that, I'm going to go into the layers tab and I'm going to just to select the logos under the group that I've just added. Once they are all selected, I'm going to go to components, create multiple components. Now that that is done, we're going to rename the logos that you've just added. So we're gonna go over to the left layers panel and what we're going to rename it is the shape of the logo and then slash, and this one's the white logo. Double click on the other logo. And again, I'll name it the exact same thing that I named the first one. So the shape of the logo and then the color. Why it's important to rename the logos with the same name and a slash, this allows you to access both of these components when you're using the logo. I will give you an example of that in one moment. So now that we've renamed them, I'm going to put this towards the bottom. I'm going to publish this to the library. Now I will show you what I mean by the importance of naming them the same. I have this new file opened up. Okay. Once I have the new file opened, I'm going to go to my assets tab and enable the library of logos. I'm going to find the ones that I just added, which are right here. And let me go ahead and drag the blue one over. Now that I've dragged that over, if I right click on the logo, it's going to give me an option to swap instance. When I go to swap instance, it's going to give me all of the components that are named the same in that category. So I can switch it over to the white logo or I can switch it over to the blue. As well as you can also do this with it being selected and over here to the right, it lets you swap instances and lets you choose a different logo that is in that group. And so now that that is added with the new year, that's all we need. And then that looks like it's it. And that is how you update the logos in the library.